All right, this is part two of this possibility piece of shit Belarus tractor that I got. Which, in re all reality, I don't have anything in it. You know, I pretty much done a bunch of trading and got the damn thing for free. But this is my issue: the injector pump and the starter. I'll go over the starter part first. What happened was, what I think happened, is they put new batteries in this tractor. And this tractor was supposed to have um, two 6-volt batteries that run in a series that turn it into 12-volt. They bought 12-volt batteries and took the 6-volt batteries out. I found the 12-volt batteries hooked up in the series and in the back, and I think they destroyed the starter. So the tractor, they said, set for about 12 years behind a building. And when I got it, they said they had pull-started it and it would run off of ether, which it does. I've pulled it with another tractor, squirt it with ether, fires right up. And I worked with this for several hours, but... This is right. You can see how it sprung back down. When they pulled it, it rolled over and each one of these are stuck. And you cannot get them loose. I can't get them loose. This rod right here, whenever you pull your, like your throttle, like your, want to throttle your machine up and this works, it won't move this. I can take a hammer and I can move it. But even if I do get it loose, I can't get these three loose. So I'm going to put this pump back together, run some wire through these holes, stick a rope around it, and I'm going to use it for a boat anchor for my John boat because I think that's about where this pump's at. I'll just use it for a dam anchor on one of my little little John boats to go out and go bluegill fishing and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I, I, I want to <laughs> think about it. I'd say the DNR would just love to pull up and me pulling this old oily thing up for a uh, an anchor. I, I could see me getting a big ticket for that because I'd be polluting stuff, but probably just uh, throw it in a scrap pile and take it in for scrap metal, actually. Probably be the best thing to do with that hunk of junk. But does anybody run these tractors or this model? I was told this model was probably in the 90s because it does have the uh, plastic dash. It's not a steel dash. And it's low hours. It's like a 1,000 hours on this thing. And it looks like they run a lot of hard road because I think these front tires here have been replaced. But when you look on your back tires here, probably originals from the 90s. Uh, I want to take a picture of the VIN plate here. If anybody can tell me what year this tractor is by that VIN plate, it's the only plate I found on it, uh, message in the comments uh, what year this uh, thing is or what year... They think it might be. I'll take a picture of the uh, dash, which I got tools strung everywhere. But it's got a, you know, it's got the plastic dash. Um, somebody put a car fan on it and hooked it up to a house switch. I mean, how fucked up is that? And what they had done was on the front, they had took the grill out and stuck a car fan because I believe it was overheating, but whenever we was working on it, those fan blades, they don't look factory at all. I mean, it looks like they cut them out with some kind of saw and put them on there. So if I do get it running, I'm going to go through Belarus and get a, a six-blade fan. That's a four-blade. And then take a steam jenny or something to clean these fins out and see if that uh, helps with uh, overheating issue but 
I have not had this thing run yet. So, no clue anything about it. I did fill all the oil levels up in the front end, which everything was kind of low. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video, and uh, leave me a comment on what do you think about these tractors.